So I've been invited on a trip to Pakistan. The only thing I know about Pakistan is what they share on the news. So of course I said yes, and so did eight other individuals to spend 10 days exploring Pakistan to see what the country is really like, to see if it's safe for tourists, and to see if what they share on the news is actually true. My name is Ishan Shah. I'm Louise. Ryan Riel. Chantal. I'm Anam. Yes, my name is Umar Khan. My name is Nathan Buchan. I'm a founding board member at CPIC Global. We're here today in Pakistan starting our journey to show a group of travel influencers from across the world, Pakistan, and hopefully shatter some of those negative perceptions the country has. Obviously in the media you hear Taliban, bombs going off, guys with AK-47s everywhere. Kidnapped, held for ransom. I was actually petrified before coming to Pakistan. I went onto the Foreign Office website and was absolutely shocked, saying that the, all these places that we're visiting now, it says don't go at all, no matter what. I don't know anyone that's actually been to Pakistan. I'm the first, so uh, yeah, it's a little bit nerve-wracking. I feel like it's an experience that I have to take. It's a chance I have to take just to see what Pakistan is really like. Because I do know that the media can twist things a little bit. So we're going to find out um, one way or another. <laughs> we flew into Islamabad where we got suited up and headed north to go deep into the mountains over the next week. Raw onions apparently help stomach bugs. So. There's eight of us who are taking this 40 seater van. What is your name, my bro? Hey, what is your name? My name is Adnan Han. Adnan Han, good to meet you. I'm from New Zealand. New Zealand, yeah. I like your bike, man, it's cool. Very nice. My man. Where are you going? To Chitra. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> See you, my friend. <laughs> We're not in Swat. Oh, where are we, bro? The Swat starts there. Oh, we're, we're just at where the... where we are. We're, we're no man's land. <laughs> we're in no man's land at the start of Swat. This place is absolutely beautiful. I can't believe how spectacular it is. Security is still pretty strict here, but for good reason, and it makes you feel a lot safer because it is. Every like 100 kilometers, we go through these checkpoints. Sometimes we have to show like our passport and visas and everything. Nate, you driving? Yeah. Let's hop in. Would you trust me? No, it could be seriously dangerous because the drops are going to be like this. Apparently, it's uh, three hours, not four. But they always keep telling us that, man. <laughs> yeah, Every dude. ride's supposed to be like five Everything. hours, end of nine. <laughs> How about a place in my suitcase? Louis Vuitton. No, it's not that I keep telling them. We're heading up about another 200 meters into the mountains, uh, and we've got these 4x4 four four Jeeps that are going to get us there. Oh, pita ja pita hai, pita te vasai noor, mujhu to ponjaayu. Oh, pita ja pita hai, pita te vasai noor, mujhu to ponjaayu. Oh, mujhu to ponjaayu. This is the part of the vlog. <laughs> Making our way. Are we going further north? Look at this view. <laughs> Isn't this, this is the most uh, incredible thing you've ever seen? Yeah, look at this crazy Pakistan. Shit. Yeah. My ass is gonna hit. Get down, you're gonna get hit by the rocks. You crazy man, I'll take it in. Alright. Jesus creepers, that was a close one. <laughs> Oh my god! Sorry mom! It's a long way down! <laughs> Yo, we just arrived into Chitra last night and it was super dark when we got here so look what we've woken up to. This is amazing. We're just surrounded by mountains. This is one of the coolest places I've ever been. Walls are
Just frying it. Have you got it out? Oh, I've got it, mate. Oh, it's a keeper. <laughs> a little bit. Slices. Nice. 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 Alright, add some chili. A little bit of spice for her. Me and the day, we've got a something curry with a little bit of spices. A little bit of something else. I don't know. Wonderla, wonderla. Wonderla purple. Wonderupi. 15. To have poverty, you have to have a have to have rich people and poor people and, and a mix, right? Over here, they've all got equal. Do you get what I mean? That's a really, really good point, yeah. So they've all got sufficient food. They've all probably got their own buffalo. They're, they're all they're taking care of each other, like, if they need help. Like, the families are there. It's e all equal. equal. Yeah. It's all equal. So there isn't I, I, poverty here. Guys, okay, there's a solution to poverty. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Is this your cow? Oh, cow. You provide milk from the, the cow. For tea? tea and for cream? Tea for tea for cheese. For Cheese, butter. Oh. Crops, uh, property of the many people. Yeah. Every family has a crops. Oh, every, every family has a crop. It's the equal system. All crops. Yeah. Everybody, everybody benefits from the crops. Unique culture, unique. Wow. Do you like it? It's good? Huh? It's good? Good, good. Good, good. good yeah. Yeah. We just caught wind of a local volleyball game going down. We're going to track them down, we're going to find them, and we're going to challenge them to a game. We'll see if they welcome us, uh, and then we'll see if we can beat them. Oh, yeah! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, thank you. Chitral is a very beautiful place and the people of Chitral are really loving. There is no crime rate. You can see the report of police station. Yeah. No crime rate in the previous years in Chitral. It's zero crime. Uh, yeah. Zero crime. Zero crime. Wow. Very peaceful district of KPK, this Chitral. Especially Ayon, Bumbaret, Rumbu, these are very beautiful places of Chitral. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Play volleyball with the locals and how's that? Zero crime in the town. Yeah. Just that everything is mutual, everything is shared equally. It's a beautiful place. And they're really so welcoming. They're opening up their houses, oh. they're inviting us for dinner, for 100%. tea. 100%. You know. It's crazy. Look at these guys. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> The best thing about waking up in this country is that you usually arrive in the place that you're getting to at night time. So you don't really have a chance to see what you're surrounded by. But then you wake up in the morning to views like this. Roll it down, roll it down. Oh, oh like that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to try the rascal first. Number that is nine. a life-changing dessert. <laughs> uh, number nine? Okay, yeah, this is, this is good. So, uh, how much? Thank you. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you. Yeah, they only show the bad bits. That's the thing. The hospitality in this country and, and the culture of the people is just amazing. Luis, look at this. Look at this. So I guess you're my man. Well. Coco mo mujevido. Mmm. Not bad. Biscuit with a little Nutella cinder. Basically, this whole trip, I've been talking about getting jalebis, and we have found the miracle sweet right there. <laughs> Uh, some polo. Where, where are we going, Z? Got polo game on. 
we're gonna hit up the polo ground. Hopefully we can get some horses and uh, create a British team. International team? <laughs> I don't think so, I don't think we are. That was amazing. An unexpected experience. We didn't know that there was going to be a game on. Just happened to be walking down the street and like it's starting now. It's cool, man. I didn't know. I didn't know it was so hot. Like it's a full-on game. It's intense, man. Yeah. And is it? The I've seen a lot of polo games, but the view that they're playing oh. with in the backdrop oh. that's phenomenal. <laughs> If you're single, you need to learn how to take pictures of good looking girls. It's easy, you just have to go through the extra mile. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Yo, what's up, boys? What's up, what's Let me up? check out these welcome, eggs. Welcome to our pad, bro. <laughs> We made it to this small village in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, we can see it. Yeah, it's awesome, man. This is Yo. our this is our crib. Oh, oh bro, you got a light, man. Yes, boy, yes, boy, yes, boy. We're gonna check out my boy's crib. Uh, let's just see if he's home. Ryan, you home? <laughs> what up? Check out my crib. <laughs> this is where the magic happens. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what? Take shit like a Westerner. You can do this as well. Yo, this is sick, I'm actually gonna do this. And then, you can just, you can just take your shit. How's, how's your aim, bro? And you just sound like a king, like a boss. Oh. That might look like a basic breakfast. That's awesome. It's about as fresh as it gets when it comes to honey. So good, so tasty. We're in Kalash right now, in the middle of the mountains. Morning, right after the old road. Oh, morning run. Morning run. <laughs> this, is a, this is the way to get your exercise for the morning. Send a drone up and run. Yeah, just run with it with the locals. <laughs> it's awesome. And the locals aren't even out of breath. We are just... Oh, imagine living here without internet. Off Writing grid. letters to your mom. <laughs> we're totally off grid now. It's so funny hey, how we're like, get a local to just, can you show us around your village? <laughs> yeah, sure. And then we end up walking five kilometers down the road to go find <laughs> the next village. <laughs> So he's gonna cut that. <laughs> he was showing him help me, <laughs> but he didn't help me. Era ba, era ba, pariyad va ora zama. Na me da iltija, na me da iltija. Era ba, era ba, pariyad va ora zama. Na me da iltija. Oh yeah! We should make a music video. Can't do it! <laughs> I think we have all got like serious issues, haven't we? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Go spin my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Wee! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
So we're actually going to have an interview with one of the national news channels, actually two of the national news channels here in Pakistan about our trip and what we're doing here. I have no idea what to expect. I'm guessing they're just going to ask questions and I have to answer them. So how was your trip in Pakistan? Yeah. Pakistan Zindabad. Pakistan Zindabad. Pakistan Zindabad. Prati Husno Jamal ko dekhne, dunia ke mukhtalif mamalik se mashhoor travel bloggers. Yo, who would have thought that there's a hotel like this in Pakistan? We're leaving the northern part of Pakistan today and we're heading south. We're just doing the reconnaissance, the first reconnaissance of the massive breakfast buffet, and then we'll make some decisions. You have to do like a hot lap and see what's available. Look at this. This morning we are off to Gawarar, which is a very important seaport in Balochistan. The flight will be about one hour. We landed in Gwadar, mission impossible, but we made it possible because, you know, that's just how we roll. Yeah. Who would you rather watch viewers? Would you rather watch the boys or the girls? I think you'd rather I watch mean, the girls. All of this over here, up to the port, this was all barren land 12 months ago. This is the first phase of the free zone that you can see over here. Mm -hmm. That's the business center in the distance. Mm -hmm. These are all warehousing and factories that are being built. You can see lots of construction going on this side. And that's how the top over there, that's been cleared as well. It, what's going to happen in the years to come is the entire peninsula over here, the right hand side of it, yep. right, is all going to be the free zone. Amazing. This is going to be the future of Pakistan. This is the, this is the gateway to the China-Pakistan economic corridor. And this city is the future of Pakistan. So businesses could operate in Gawadar Free Zone on a tax-free basis. You can make your manufacturing plant here, you can make your factory here and operate on a tax-free basis. Just arrived at Zishan's construction site, one of many that he has for his company CPIC who sponsored the tour. So we're doing, really just doing a progress check on how everything's going and seeing the site for ourselves because like you say, this is going to be a big city soon and now it's just desert. So it's cool to see them actually making a start, putting in the roads, the groundwork, Soon it's going to be something much, much bigger. So cool to come back here in like 10 years time and see what it's actually like. Come on, get your cigarettes! <laughs> <laughs> this is what we're in, this whole area we've gone through right now. Is that corner there? That's the entire project. Oh, guys, who would have thought that this trip's actually coming to an end? Oh, I can't believe it, man. So sad. What are we going to do without each other? FaceTime From... and WhatsApp and you can send, Instagram send, send each other nudes. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to thank CPIC for putting on this trip. Uh, it's been a great experience. And I want to thank the people of Pakistan for being so friendly and open. And look, I really think that we can change the perception that the world has on Pakistan at the moment because, man, it's one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. I also <laughs> want to thank Mr. Zishan. For inviting me along this trip, mate. Do you know we might catch up in England sometime? I don't know, man. I've had quite enough of you, to be honest. <laughs> Before you came to Pakistan, and now down to the ocean. Oh, I mean, look what, at this I view. Mean, what do you think? What do you think? You've, you've seen the mountains of Pakistan in the north. We've travelled probably <laughs> what 2,000 miles down to the south of the country. We're now at the beaches in the south. Um, we've been from you know sort of snow-capped mountains to, to sunny beaches in 35 degree hot weather. Yeah, we've stayed in we've stayed country? off the grid to five-star hotels. Like yeah. we've seen everything, seen everything that Pakistan has to offer. And honestly, it's been amazing. To be fair, the perception at home and before I came, I was like a little bit nervous about coming. I didn't really know what to expect. It's like one of those places like don't that everyone recommends not to go, including like the. The, no, the no, travel you, websites, like the national travel websites, recommend don't go to the towns that we went to. It's also that you think that, you know, I've got so many places in the world I can go to, what the, what the hell am I supposed to do in Pakistan? <laughs> yeah, you know? exactly. What that am was, I going to do? That, that was kind of my initial thought. Yeah, but now that we've come and seen it and been able to experience it firsthand, I realise that Pakistan and the people of Pakistan are just absolutely amazing. This is the end of the trip. We're ending it with a sunset right down south on the beach. That's it from us. I will see you 
around the world somewhere. <laughs> you! I can't believe our trip has come to an end. It has been an absolutely amazing and unforgettable experience. Coming to Pakistan, I was a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie, like I didn't know what to expect. The media back home portrays it one way, and since I've been here, I've realized that it's the exact opposite. In terms of my perception, I'm absolutely in love with the country. I'm already thinking, you know, about when I'm gonna come next. At the start of the trip, I was a bit nervous, and looking back at it now, I honestly can't believe I even had the slightest bit of, of fear. The people have just looked after us so well. They've welcomed us, whether it was a security guard, an army personnel, the concierge at the hotel, or a, a local woman from the Kalash Valley. They've all had the same reaction to us, and that's welcoming. They've been absolutely amazing in ensuring that we feel welcomed and then we feel safe and that we're having an enjoyable and fun time in their country. Um, they're a united front in making sure that us foreigners and tourists alike uh, really have a true experience of, of their country. From the mountains in the north to the, to the sea and the beaches in the south and I'm truly myself absolutely mesmerized uh, by my own country, by Pakistan. I've seen people and I've seen places that I didn't even know existed in our country. I started this initiative to counter the negative narrative against Pakistan. Not just the negative narrative, but the unfair narrative against Pakistan. We are a people of hospitality, we are a warm country, we are a welcoming country. And this is the image and this is what I wanted to present to the world. And for that reason we brought together these social media influencers from across the world to come and experience the country firsthand. And I'm very happy that we've achieved that mission. We've now created ambassadors for Pakistan who will go across the world and give our message of peace and happiness and more, more important than anything else, that we are a warm and hospitable nation. The group we put together have a direct following of over two and a half million people who they can have an impact on. The journey has been shared across social media and in this short film now, and it will go miles and miles in educating millions of people across the world and putting forward an accurate picture of what Pakistan truly is. This trip we put together was a privately funded initiative. It was fully funded privately by CPIC just to show Pakistan and show to the world what Pakistan is all about. I hope now this short film and this initiative acts as a catalyst to further strengthen and grow tourism into Pakistan, improve the global image of Pakistan. Because this project we did wasn't just about having fun and a group of people coming together from over, of all across the world and from across Pakistan and having a fun trip across Pakistan. Yes, that did happen. But what the real initiative behind this is, is to act like a catalyst and change that global perception Pakistan has. And I believe we've been successful in doing that in our small way. And I hope now people will take motivation and inspiration from what we have achieved and carry on similar initiatives and carry on similar trips and help this journey that we've commenced today. Thank you.